Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So I thought I would go live today. Um, so I'm going to be using my Saint 3D palette. Uh, I will not be doing eyes today. I did put lashes on, but I did a TCA eye peel last night. So my skin is just going to peel off anyway, and I want to not rub on the skin as much as possible. I want to leave the skin on as long as possible, and then that way it peels deeper and you're not left with hyperpigmentation. So very important with your pills. So I'm trying to get some of this hyperpigmentation, or it's not hyperpigmentation, sorry. Some of this ink off um, from when I, the first time I ever had my brows I uh, microbladed. Um, so she's kind of worried about this pigment that's left up here. So I'm trying to get it off and plus my eyes need help. So I did my above my brow, my the whole lid. Hi, Sarah's. And then I did, I'm talking about the TCA eye pill that I did last night. So I'm not going to do eyes today. I'm just going to do my face with my Sate palette. But, and then I did the TCA underneath my eye. So I'll be putting as little product here as I can because all this is going to dry out and just peel off. So just my eyes. I didn't do my face this round. I will do that um, probably in a couple weeks. So Sate palette, love this stuff. Um, my colors are sandy and mango, so I'm still kind of borderline. I'm using both of them, but I'm almost to leaning towards sandy now. Um, now that summer is coming to an end and I'm not, not out in the sun as much. I've been using the Olive Contour uh, Bella Bronzer. This is Stone Contour if I want to do that. And then this is the Suede Lip Liner. On this side of my palette, I have two blushes. This is the Ibiza and this is Ballerina Ibiza. I, it might, it's limited edition and might already be gone. And then this is the... Uh, lip conditioner, and then there's a Frenchie blush right here as well. So I'm just gonna start, I like to start with my highlight first. You'll see a lot of people paint their their makeup on, like with their fingers. It honestly, it makes it harder to blend your makeup out. So I just like to take this side of my blush, bronzer brush. This gives more of like a light to medium finish. If you want something a bit heavier, you could do the 3D brush or the detail brush. And then if you wanted something super, super light, you could do the blend brush. But I'm not a super light gal. I like a medium finish. So just tapping into both of them. And then I actually find that the contour blends out better if you put the um, your main highlight all over your face versus just in the places where you're um, not going to contour. So I'm just going to do a quick um, dusting of my main highlight and highlights just fancy word for uh, foundation so I also I don't do a brightening uh, foundation on underneath my eyes just because my eyes are some creepy little things and it just makes it look horrible it just enhances it and so I if I use anything it's a light dusting of the Fenty bright eye fix oh thanks Sarah whoop I <laughs> throw my brush it's funny because I do this in my bedroom and there's a white rug right here and I'm like, I must be crazy. All right, for my nose, because I have like enlarged pores, I'm actually just gonna use my mango color and it's it's a it's a bit darker, so it's gonna camouflage a little bit better. So most people think like lighter is going to uh, conceal and that's actually not true. So if you use a darker or your um, same color foundation, it's gonna conceal a lot more. Okay. So that should be good. So you'll notice I didn't take it like right here underneath my eyes. So this is where that Fenty comes in handy. And this is melon, so it's kind of like a peachy color. So it'll help to cover any of the, the blueness under here. But I'm not going for perfect. Um, like I said, this is just gonna peel off, so. It takes about, I haven't done an eye peel for two years, so I actually don't even remember. I think it takes about five days to start peeling your face. Your body takes like two to three weeks. All right, so, and then I, this is where I use the, the blend brush. I just use this fluffy side of it. And I was using um, the e.l.f., the Power Grip Primer, which is actually a really great primer, but I have oilier skin. Well, I have dry skin, but my face overproduces oil trying to compensate for the dryness. And while the primer does work, my face does better without anything underneath it besides my skincare and my sunscreen. And I'm, it, my skincare doesn't contain any silicones or dimethicones. Those don't work well with cream makeup. So uh, do the inside decoder for your your skincare. Like just plug in your the ingredients in your skincare and it'll tell you if there's silicone, 
um, or dimethicone. Dimethicone is a byproduct of silicone, but it'll tell you if there's any of those in there because they hide under really weird names. So just a thing to, to look at. So no um, silicones in my AM skincare. And then the sunscreen that I use is the the Hero Cosmetics, the Super Light Foundation. So there's, it's all, it's all mineral. Um, and if you have melasma, you will want to use a mineral sunscreen. So the way that sunscreens work, if it's a chemical sunscreen, the UV rays are, they penetrate the skin, and then the sunscreen just kind of absorbs the the sun, the UV rays. Um, if you have melasma, you don't want to be using that because the heat um, can help make. It exasperates, exasperate, I can't say it, <laughs> the the pigmentation that you're getting. So you'll want to use a mineral sunscreen, which blocks the UV rays. So that's the difference in the sunscreens. Um, so you're looking for like titanium dioxide. Um, tit what is the other one? Drawing a blank. So if you remember, <laughs> let me know. All right, so this is where I go in with the detail brush. And I, I like to do my contour with the detail brush. You can actually do your whole face with this brush. So the two brushes I highly recommend are the detail brush and I actually like the blush bronzer brush. I rarely ever use this besides for blush. Okay, so going in with my, no, olive contour. So just gonna paint a line on my head, forehead. And then right where your ear connects to, like you can see the shadow. I honestly don't need to do contour um, right here just because it is casting a shadow and then underneath, because I gotta hide all this loose skin right here. Yeah, so I got my hair done two two weeks ago. Um, it was like, this part was like really super white blonde. I was like, well, good thing I know that blonde hair will like yellow up, so. And so it's actually starting to look a little bit better now. And then when you're doing your cheeks, you don't want to over blend because you will blend it all out. So just do a couple swipes. I, I don't do my nose just because I have those enlarged pores right here. Um, so it just looks muddy to me and I'm not a fan. Hi, Charlie. So it, when you're doing your contour, there's you can bring it out to the corner of your eye or your pupil. It, it just depends on what you want to do. So if you're trying to like round out your cheeks, you could do this and it would just make them look a little bit fuller. If you have a chubby face, you could do it more like in a line like this. Hi, Trayden. So I was just talking, Trayden's my son. Um, last year at this time, he was in the crucible. So he had like probably like 33 hours left. And I was a nervous wreck. And he's like, I don't know why you were a nervous wreck. So it was easy. And it's so funny because all the parents in the group were just freaking out. You know, we just want the best for our kids and we worry about them. Hi, mom. Oh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm your mom. Are you off today, buddy? Okay, so that is the contour, and then you just saw me pick up a dampened um, sponge, and then I like to just press it over everything. It picks up any excess, and it blends everything together without over blending it. And like I said, this is just gonna be a quick application today, and now I go into the Bella bronzer, and I here, I like to use this side of the blush bronze brush. I rarely ever use this side anymore, so. Um, this is the Bella color. If you're a shade, a level one or a level two, you're gonna get like the tan lines bronzer. Um, Bella is, it's just gorgeous. And if you don't want to contour, you don't have to contour. All right, so you saw where I put my contour. My contour was up here. Now I'm putting my bronzer down here. So I'm just bringing life back into my skin. I'm just warming everything up. And that is the whole purpose of the bronzer. If you look at the contour, it's, it's kind of like more gray so it's meant to be oops that was a lot, bit too much but that's okay that's a good thing about cream is it blends out no mistakes here you can fix everything so this is a time to use this side of the brush and then I like to do my nose just to warm my nose back up not that much okay Wrong side of the brush. So just like this. And then after this, I will powder. And I'm trying out the Laura Mercier powder now. And this is just the translucent. So this is supposed to give a 16-hour wear. I wore it yesterday. I had been using the It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Pores, which is a great uh, powder. But it kind of, it really matted my makeup down. And 
um, it left it kind of looking dry. So hoping to avoid that. I'm gonna warm my neck up just a little bit. And just, you can use contour or bronzer. I just like to use the bronzer. I feel like it spreads a little bit better. Okay, so just like that. And then again, you can take this sponge if you felt like you put too much down. Just like that. Okay, so now I like to use the, the powder brush by Saint. It's All of our brushes are double-sided. And I can help color match you for this makeup. Just There's a color link form in my bio, in my milkshake. Um, and if you need skincare help, I can also help you there. So there is a um, skincare form too. So there's a quiz you can take and then I'll help you out with your... Um, like your basic skincare routine. And I have Traden on Curology. I used to be on it, but now I just, I get the Tretinoin from my doctor, my dermatologist every year when I go for my skin cancer checkup. And I actually went to 0.25%. Um, I have sensitive skin and I, I got up to the 0.7 with Curology and then my skin just, it, it rebelled and it said, no way, I can't do this anymore. So um, I'm just going to stick at the 0.25%. Hi, Mira. Um, Tretinoin. And while it might take a little bit longer, like my skin is still glowy. I love Tretinoin. That's the best part about Tretinoin is how it leaves your skin glowy. And then um, I don't have so much dryness and irritation with the 0.025%. Uh, so I'm going to stay at that strength and just continue that for the rest of my life still. So. All right. So... Like I said, I'm not doing my eyes because I did the TCA eye pill last night and I don't want to like irritate it any more than it already is. So I'm just leaving that bare. I just um, did the eyelashes and that'll be about it. Um, I'm trying to get some of the pigmentation from uh, microblading that I had done four years ago off so I can get them done. Again, she's kind of worried about that. So 3D brush and this will be the final step, super easy. So I'm gonna go in with the Abiza Lip and Cheek. Like I said, this is limited edition. We might not even have it anymore. And it's a satin. I like the satins. Um, they stay on the lips a bit longer and the cheeks a bit longer. And the closest color to that is the Ballerina. So I'll use the Ballerina today. And that is not limited edition. And I like to put my blush on pretty strong. My cheeks have always ate blush. It doesn't matter the medium. My cheeks just eat it. So just like that and like I said I don't I don't really put the highlight the illuminators on just because my face does get oily um, I don't feel like I need an illuminator it just makes it look worse so I kind of typically leave that off I just will kind of put some right up here on my lip maybe down my nose probably not today but that's it so I can help color match you for this wonderful makeup I absolutely love it especially if you're over 40 it's I don't know, it's just a game changer. So it's the most beautiful makeup I have ever, ever used. So, and I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining.